Hey guys, Dr. Kevin Serich here from AbundantU.com. Today we're gonna do another insane 20 minute HIIT workout on the treadmill. Let's get into it. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go ahead and jump on your treadmill, hit the quick start. Don't worry about putting your, your age, your height, your weight on this guy. And we're gonna be actually just increasing the speed to a moderate pace. So I'm gonna go up to about 3.5, maybe four miles per hour. If you're a little bit shorter, smaller strides, you don't have to go that high. And we're gonna be uh, keeping our chest up, kind of soldier walking here, warming up our body, really. Our joints, our muscles, our ligaments. We're getting ready for an insane workout. So we're just going light here. This is a five minute warm up, and we're just gonna pick up the speed over time a little bit, increasing. Right now I'm at 3.6 miles per hour. I might increase to 4.5 here in a little bit. Just go nice and slow here, okay? If this is your first time doing a HIIT workout, no big deal. We're gonna go hard here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna train our body like a sprinter. We're gonna go hard, then we're gonna go light. We're gonna go hard, we're gonna go light. We're doing 30 second intervals. So for 30 seconds, we're going as hard as we possibly can, followed up with 90 seconds of rest. So what that's gonna look like, we're gonna take the speed, so the maximum amount of speed that you can handle, like a sprinter, we're gonna crank it up as high as you can go, and then we're gonna do that speed for 30 seconds, and after 30 seconds, we're actually gonna jump on the side rails here. We're gonna, we're gonna raise our bodies up with our arms, jump on the side, just like, like, just like so, catch ourselves, catch our breath, for 90 seconds, and then we're gonna tap back onto it, jump back onto it, and go back hard again, okay? Um, if you're just starting out, you're probably gonna be around the 10 miles, eight miles per hour. For those more elite that train and do HIIT workouts all the time, like myself, you're gonna do the maximum. This one goes up to 12, and you can play with the incline. Um, I'm gonna actually transition into incline gradually, but you can go right away to two degrees, three degrees, four degrees, five degrees, if you're really extreme, so no matter where you are, anybody can get a good workout from this. All right, so we're just going light here. Nice warm up, getting our mindset right. Hit workouts are the most effective workouts when it comes to weight loss. If you're trying to lose weight, shred that body fat, this is the exercise for you. Best part about this, if you don't have a treadmill, you can do this in your backyard. You can do this on a trail bike trail, get creative, hit workouts are amazing. So we're still warming up here. We got about two minutes and 20 more seconds left. Let's increase the speed here. So I'm going from four miles per hour to 6.6 .6 miles per hour, okay? I'm gonna do this, now I got a light jog going here. So remember, there's all sorts of amazing benefits of doing high intensity workouts for fat burning purposes, anti-aging, human growth hormone secretion, all that good stuff that you want. There's not a better exercise on the planet when it comes to fat loss. So if your goal is to lose some fat, this is the workout for you. Okay. Keeping your chest up, breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember, we're gonna do eight rounds. So we're doing eight rounds of 30 seconds, with 90 seconds of rest in between. So remember, you're going like a light pace. You're not going extremely hard here. You might need to lower it down a little bit, maybe do four or five miles per hour. Just get your heart rate up just a hair, get the blood flowing, get your muscles loose, and get your mindset right. We got one minute to blast off. So when you really sprint hard, you're gonna be doing your fast twitch muscles. These are the muscles that are gonna secrete all that good human growth hormone, also known as your fitness hormone. I'm gonna be out of breath, and that's how you know you did this right, because you're so out of breath, you need in 90 seconds just to catch your breath. All right, We've got 30 seconds, so what I want you to do is go ahead and grab your side, side of the rails, get yourself off your treadmill, and I want you to raise your speed, because in 20 seconds, 
We're gonna jump back on and we're gonna go as hard as we possibly can. Maximum effort, maximum results. So I got this right now all the way up to 12 miles per hour. All right, we're gonna grab the sides, we're gonna do the three taps. I'm gonna give you a countdown, we're gonna jump on, we're gonna do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good job guys, one round down. All right, now it's time to catch your breath. Really important for this next 90 seconds, you take the time to catch your breath so you can explode again into the, your next set. Shake your legs out if you want. Just taking the time to catch your breath now. You can check your heart rate if you want to. Your max heart rate is gonna be 220 minus your age. You're gonna see your heart rate get higher and higher with each, with each rep, okay? If you need to modify this at any point, please do. If at some point you feel like you have to run and hold on to the rails while you're running, you're probably going too hard. And yes, if you're new to this, if you can't do all eight reps, if you wanna, you know, if you can only get to four, that's okay, but work your way to eight. So I'm catching my breath. We got about 30 more seconds until we get back into it. And yeah, you might have to hit your machine periodically or it'll turn off because of weight. So just make sure you hit the quick start, make sure you're still keeping your machine awake, okay? Turns off just like a computer. Get back in in three. Two, one, go! Good job, that's two rounds in. Keep your speed high on the treadmill. Make sure it doesn't fall asleep on you. Catch your breath again, okay? Remember, maximum heart rate, maximum effort. There are studies that show that if you do HIIT workouts, you can burn five to seven times more fat than low or moderate intensity exercises. Five to seven times more. It's amazing. And it's gonna save yourself some time. Number one excuse why people don't work out. They don't have the time. When you do HIIT workouts, you have the time. So I'm just hitting my treadmill, making sure that it, the sensors are working, making sure that it knows that I'm still here so it doesn't turn off, okay? You can always lower it down a little bit, then raise it back up. We got 30 more seconds of rest before we get back into it. Third round. Make sure you raise that as high as you possibly can, what you can handle. If you're really an athlete, really elite, and you wanna incline the treadmill, that's even another level of intensity. All right, we're putting this back up to 12. We're getting ready here in 10 seconds. Position yourself, three tap the floor. Three, two, one. Go. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more You're just gonna take that Make them take it all back Make them take it all back Don't tell me you believe that Don't tell me you believe that Are you just gonna take that Or will you fight back all right, three rounds in. Good job. Make sure that you're getting out of breath when you do this. 
Okay, incline the treadmill if you need to. We're gonna keep it high. That's right, 90 seconds might seem like a long time, but you're gonna need this 90 seconds to catch your breath. Don't forget guys, you don't need a treadmill to do this. You can do this in your backyard. You can do this on a trail. That's what I love about these HIIT workouts. A lot of ways to modify it. So instead of standing, you can just walk during your rest periods. Keeping my treadmill on. Thirty more seconds till we get back into it. Twenty seconds. Get laser focus. Channel into your legs. Get ready for it. Three, two, one. Halfway there, guys. Four, that's not bad, right? This is when it starts to get a little bit more intense. <laughs> you start to enjoy these breaks a little bit more. Let's keep going. All right. So, we've got about a minute and 10 seconds left of our break. We're catching our breath. If you do this correctly, you really shouldn't be able to talk. All right, guys. Maximum speed, what can you handle? I'm at 12 miles per hour. I might even increase the incline by one degree today. Oh yeah, we're going up. All right, 30 more seconds for this next one. Rep number five. Get ready for it. Fifteen more seconds, you're catching your breath. Oxinate your lungs. All right, get ready to dismount yourself. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. I got a shot and I ain't stopping though. That's all I know that I'm unstoppable. Good job. Woo. Right. Five down. Three to go. Oh, yeah. I raised my incline a little bit on that one. I liked it. Remember, you're pushing yourself here. My heart rate's 173 right now. 174, 175, 180. Let's get up there. 189. All right, guys. 50 more seconds. We'll get back into it. No excuses. Don't tap out now. All right, I got my treadmill at the 12 miles per hour right now. Two degree incline. Do what do what fits you best, okay? 
20 more seconds before we get back into it. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, go. Rest period. All right, two more to go. Feel that burn. I know, it feels like you're not gonna catch your breath. Don't worry, you will. We're doing good, guys. Got a minute left, one minute left now. Two more to go. These last two reps are the transcending reps. I like to keep my legs moving on the side a little bit. If you haven't yet tried, try with a little incline. Wait, I'm at three degrees right now. Oh yeah. We're sweating right now, I love it. Our fat is crying and that cry is sweat. 10 more seconds, we're gonna get back into it. All right, three, two, one. Good job guys, last rep. Like I mentioned earlier, transcending rep. Don't leave anything in the tank. Oh yeah, heart rate is maximum. Right now we're getting the best shape of our life. All right, this last one, I'm gonna really challenge myself. Keep the speed at its max capacity. Gonna incline or increase the incline five degrees. Remember, if you're just starting off, you don't have to incline. If you're already an elite athlete or you're trying to challenge yourself more, incline a little bit. Here we go. 40 more seconds till the fun begins. If you're not sweating and if you're not out of breath, you're not going hard enough. Let's go. Come on. 30 seconds, the last one. We got 10 seconds. We're getting back into it. Catching my breath. Three, two, one, drop. You guys did it. Pat yourselves on the back. 
we got a three minute cool down. Bring the incline down, bring the speed down. Get back down to about three miles, 3.5 miles per hour. Catch your breath. Keep those legs moving. Yes. Perfect, guys. So, workout like this, you only need to do a maximum of three times a week. Okay, typically after my HIIT workouts, I like to give my body at least close to 48 hours of rest. It demands a lot. If you overtrain, you can get hurt and it can have an adverse side effect. So, make sure you rest. Probably the most common question I get about HIIT workouts, how many calories did I just burn, Dr. Kevin? Remember, it's not so much just about the calories you burn during the exercise, it's the afterburn effect that follows. There's actually something called EPOC, excessive post-exercise, so after exercise, oxygen consumption. What that means is your metabolism stays revved up. It stays revved up for up to 24 hours. It's amazing. There's a study that showed if even if you did this exercise one time and you had type 2 diabetes, it improves your insulin levels and your blood sugar regulations for the entire rest of the day. Feel free to stretch those legs after this. We're just cooling down, we're going nice and light. Fifty more seconds. Catching our breath. You might have had some cramping during that. That's how you know you gave it your all. The locks wanted to give on you. You kept pushing. Thirty more seconds. Make sure you share this, guys, with your friends, relatives, loved ones. If you know someone that's overweight, that struggles with, oh, I don't have the time, I got kids, I got a job, I got things to take care of. You saw how quick we did this. Technically, we were only going hard for four minutes. But when you work out like this, it's efficient. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. Now, do me a favor. If you actually did this workout, make sure you like, subscribe, and even comment below. I want to know what you guys think about it. And definitely check us out at AbundantU.com or follow me on Instagram at AskDrKevin and or visit my website at AskDrKevin.com. I'll see you in the next hit.